here, your optimism guru, ready to spread a little daily cheer in your world. So today, as you can see, not only do I have the remnants of Easter <laughs> confetti eggs all over my carpet, but I also have decided over the weekend that I'm tired of every piece of artwork where I have it placed in my home across the board. So in every room I have all of the artwork pulled down off the walls in order to completely rearrange because that's just how I roll. And notice I've pulled it all down, but I haven't put any of it back up yet. Anyone else do that? They get real gung-ho about a project and then are like, okay, I'm good, I've made my mess. So today I am focused on finding new homes for my lovely collection that spans uh, all over the place. Plus, I'm excited because I have a piece that I commissioned, in theory at least, that uh, I'm really excited to receive soon. And so, I've got space on my wall for that. And then I can just work all around all of the pieces that speak most dearly to my heart. Now, I don't know about you, but I know um, whenever I move into a new space or whenever there are big changes in my life or just whenever I need uh, a spring cleaning, I have a rule that the only things that are allowed in my world are things that bring me joy, bring me pleasure, make my heart sing. So if a piece of artwork does not particularly speak to me, I will not let it in my space. You know, why bring something in that every time you look at you go, or not, or it just irritates you, or it brings up a negative memory. Um, kind of like I spoke about several weeks ago about a piece that my ex-husband bought me when we were just dating. And I love, love, love this piece of artwork. And yet I have a hard time looking at it and not thinking about, you know, 15 years ago when he bought it. So it's just kind of, it's kind of a rub, but if you can bring things that have positive connotations into your world, and to me, one of the most wonderful ways to do that is through the artwork that you choose for your walls. I, I do have a couple of pieces that are like the Kirklands or the Hobby Lobby standards, but for the most part, I try to pick up really unique pieces from artists that I know and that I don't know. Uh, I have pieces that are given to me, you know, that, that other, that friends have purchased and then they kind of just never fit and I usually end up just adoring them. Example piece of that is right there, this orange piece that is an incredible 3D, like layered, awesome, awesome piece. It's gotten a little bit of wear and tear through moves and yet it's really still super cool. Uh, that's a great example of a piece that was a, a friend of, of mine, a, a couple, and they just couldn't make it work. It just didn't work in their space and they knew that I would be obsessed over it and I was. So I want to encourage you, whether you are an art buff like art on the walls like I am, um, my middle kiddo has a great art wall that mixes high, low prints and, you know, garage sale finds, um, has some original artwork on it, has some more of, um, of, you know, just good copies and things like that, but a whole slew across genres, across mediums, neat, neat art wall. So don't you love it when people talk to you about stuff and then don't show you? Yeah, that's what I'm doing because I'm not gonna go into my kiddo's room and show you, show you the art wall. But find things in your world that make your heart sing and that make you feel comfort and joy and surround yourself with beautiful items whether they're high or low or somewhere in between, whether you paid hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars or, you know, tens of pennies, it doesn't even matter where you found it. It matters that it speaks to your spirit in a special, special way. And I always love the quote that the earth without art is just eh. E H. So you take art out of out of life, and it's just kind of bleh. And I just 
believe that to the core of my being always always have I've always been an artist and artistically minded so you know granted I skew that way anyway but I feel like even those who do not consider themselves particularly artistic or design savvy still recognize things in stores and on displays and on television shows and online that speak to them even if it is a singing fish on a wall if it speaks to them if it makes you happy then that is something that you need in your life so I hope that this little piece of cheer and fun and art has brought you a little bit of joy today uh, I like love that you join me today and every day for a little bit of a uh, optimism guru action and daily cheer I thank you for the thumbs up I thank you for the likes for the shares I thank you for the comments and I love it when those of you who know me or even don't know me you know track me down on social media and just say I love what you do so thank you so much to all of you and until I see you again I hope that you are making it a great artistic day <laughs> Bye.